Hello, hello guys. How are we doing today? My name is Sophie from Lace Wigs and Hair Products on YouTube. We are Capelli's Emporium Online. You can shop with us at www.cpehairstyles.ecrater.com. That is the, the current online uh, shopping center that you can go to to make some purchases. I'm uploading daily, so if you don't see something that you like, um, be sure to send me an email at analicias underscore lace and hair at yahoo.com and I will list something for you, alright? Or you can just email me and let me know what you want and um, we can go from there because I can just send you an a invoice from the email. So, get this. This is what I want to talk to you guys about. We're going to do the Ask Capellis because I know I haven't done that in a while so we got the questions and answers. I've been writing down all of your questions and uh, I'm going to knock out the difference between the wick and uh, cap constructions. You know, full lace, front lace, lace front, um, silk top, thin skin, full thin skin, blah, 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 blah. So many. We'll get to them. But get this. So last night, which was September 17th. How do my lipstick look, y'all? Mm, I don't want to be blinging. But anyway, oh, and by the way, I am rocking a KC1 today. Yes, I am. She's about 24 inches long. And, you know, I parted it and had my little bangs. So I got the little layer look. So cute. Get your KC1. Um, yeah, but get this. Okay, so I get an email from YouTube asking me to be a partner. And I'm like, all right. You know, I'm like, okay, so... I know something about partners. I've seen some partners um, that have longer time. That would really help me a lot because right now I only get 10 minutes. Like, I can slide in 10 minutes and 30 seconds, but that's the longest. And, you know, my wig shows, I have so many pictures because I'm a picture freak. So I like to get that in. And then on my Ask Capelli's, I'm just blah, 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 like I am right now, right? You see that? I'm talking like, I haven't even gotten to the questions yet. Um, but... So I'm like, okay, this could be to where I can have more time. Here's my, here's my thing. And maybe some partners out there can help me. Um, there's, a, a, there's a thing called monetize to where like there's copyright infringement and you can get banned for it. So I'm afraid because with my wig shows and um, for entertainment purposes, I'll play my music. You know, I play my um, my gospel rap by, you know, Cross or, you know, I'm a vet. I'm a vet. You know, I'll play that or I'll play Beyonce or I'll play Tupac. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to be banned from that. So, please, you know, if, if somebody knows a little bit into that, maybe I can still play my music or do I have to own it myself? Because I don't want to have the whole copyright infringement thing. So, I'm thinking... Here's another thing I was thinking. Okay, what if I use the lace wigs and hair products uh, for the Ask Capellis, for you know questions and answer sessions, and and coming to you, you know, about my life and about hair and things like that, and then I create a Capellis Emporium YouTube account for my wig shows, and then I'll be able to play my music. You know, I'll be able to you know have y'all jamming while y'all looking at the. You know, the wig's like, oh, I want that one, I want that one, I want that one, you know. And we do it like that. I, you know, help me out. Because I, I don't want to get banned, y'all. I don't want to get banned, you know. I think I'm one of a kind. I don't think anybody has on YouTube as much knowledge as I do about different hair types and, and extensions and wigs and blah, blah, blah. So I don't want to get banned. I don't want y'all to be like, where's Sophia at? So help me out with that, all right? Now... With that said, thank you so much for your help. I love y'all. I miss y'all. I'm back. I'm back. All right. So let's get into the difference between, because this is a constant question um, that I get, and it's okay. What's the difference between a full lace wig and a front lace wig and a lace front wig and thin skin and all this? Okay. And I'm going to have pictures in between here. Okay. A full lace wig. That is a full lace cap. I actually have one here for demonstration, and she is on sale. This is a Seren. This is a Seren. She's from, uh, she's in our sacred category. When you go on to uh, the www.cpehairstyles.com. 
www.ecrater.com. She is Mongolian Remy. And she has a little color in her. The lace was a little dark, okay, for the client. Hi, how you doing, girl? So we're making her another one in a lighter lace. But we have this. And here is what you would call a full lace cap, okay? The entire cap. Cap construction means the cap, what the hair is added onto, whether it be hand tied or sewn with wefts. And, but there is stretch lace in the center in the crown area. See it stretches. It gives a little give so say a year down the line um, if your hair is growing or if the lace cap shrinks because it can. It is a fiber. It, I mean a fabric. I'm sorry. It is a fabric. Make sure you have a styrofoam wig head that you can keep it on. Keep the form of the wig and it, it can prevent it from shedding. I mean stretching. I mean shrinking. Blech. I'm talking too fast because I'm trying to get my time in. See, I only have 10 minutes right now. All right, but it has a stretch, okay? Now, the stretch should not, it should be the same color of the lace cap. I have a really big, big pet peeve about that. I don't like black stretch lace unless the cap is black, you know. But, um, and you should be able to part it just about anywhere. So I'm going to put my hand in here and I'm going to try and get a good shot for you. I'll get some shots for you while well, you'll see, but you know, it blends. It should blend in well. And by the way, this was originally $602.99. She's on sale for $500, and there are payment plans. You can either pay 75% down and 25% later or 50 50. So get at me about that because she's here. She's ready. She's a medium cap. She's a, a 22 inches in circumference. So I'll have some pictures of her to model her. But a full, a full lace cap is basically, it's a lace cap construction. You can either have stretch or not. And uh, it's fully hand tied, meaning the hairs, whether it be one or two or three or eight, depending, are all hand tied into the cap construction. You can part it anywhere. It's attached to the perimeter, meaning the outside of your hairline all the way around the nape the entire your entire perimeter is attached with either adhesive or wig tapes okay you can pull it up in a high ponytail you can part it anywhere it has to be attached to the entire perimeter unless you opt to have wig cap, uh, wig clips put in and you just clip it in but you can pull it up in a high ponytail because the back is hand tied as well that's what a full lace wig is full lace wig is going to cost more um, a lace front wig, same cap construction mostly, only the front is the sheer lace, the French lace, as you see here, you know, or Swiss lace, but the back of the wig is made with only the stretch lace material, okay? And um, you'll usually get about four inches that you can part. Actually, you can part it anywhere, but the 